Britain is a refugee-making country rather than a refugee-taking one. If you look at the long frame of the British Empire and its role in the world, um, historically, Britain has produced thousands, if not millions, of refugees. And that's largely because the imperial project involved uh, displacement of people, often deliberate, people pushed away from their land um, and, and made to move. In terms of what Britain has done as a state across the world, it has been involved in historical events and episodes which have resulted in people having to become uh, refugees in, in at various points in time. We know that certainly from the middle of the 20th century onwards, the British state has been increasingly and consistently hostile towards asylum seekers, um, creating more and more legal uh, blockades, legal difficulties uh, in their path. Uh, many British people are uh, taken for a ride by sections of the British media, which is hostile to asylum seekers and peddles a great deal of disinformation about how many are coming in and what will happen when they come in. They have been told that these migrants will be a huge burden on the state. Asylum seekers will take money and resources away from British people, which is also not true. The crisis isn't getting any better. But I think that what we are witnessing in Britain right now is not at all sophisticated. We have a country that is spiraling into economic crisis. We have the wealthy getting wealthier and we have increasing numbers of people uh, becoming poorer. And in the face of this situation, I'm afraid to say that it has been very expedient, uh, both for the wealthy media owning classes and for the political classes under conservative government to direct people's attention to foreigners, to asylum seekers, to refugees, to migrants, and suggest that that they are the problem rather than the people who have been voted into power. And I think it's a very, very crude but effective mechanism. We are looking at a situation where public anger could lead to enormous violence being exercised against minoritized groups. In a scenario where minoritized and vulnerable people are going to be the targets of public anger, uh, the government's small boats policy, the incantatory reference to small boats, is going to ensure that amongst the most vulnerable are going to be people who have already suffered uh, terrible experiences in their lives and are going to come to Britain and be made to suffer a whole lot more.